Yo, what's up fam? Just doing my thing on my way home from work. Early day, got the shit out the way early, so I'm about to go to the crib and start working on this new project that I've been like really toying around with, like, but I'm going hard. It's my first week going extra hard, so but basically before I even get into that, the new project, I just want to talk to you guys about following your uh your dreams. As you guys know, I'm a rapper. I mix and uh, master my own music, and I do the my own marketing and promotion for my own music. So, yeah, I mean, when I first got into all this, I'll say I'm on my first seven months of literally putting my music out and getting, you know, feedback from everyone and kind of playing with all my marketing and putting new tools. And so far, so good. But um, as far as, like, me really starting this journey, I'm really... I'll say on like year two because it took me a year like how this shit even started for me I was tired of doing the, the 9 to 5 what you see I'm still doing but I knew I wanted to position myself to where I could eventually leave the 9 to 5 and the fucking paycheck to paycheck rap mix that's what all of our goals should be is trying to get out of that paycheck to paycheck and going to work until we're 65 years old mentality I've seen how that shit plays out my parents are older so my parents are already, they already hit that 65 mark. And not doing necessarily bad, but they're not where I want to be. I feel like if you put in your 65 years of work, boys, I feel like you should be living with no worries at all. Like, nothing should be in a work. That's just my opinion. So, with that being said, because I knew I didn't want to work until I was 65, and I still have, like, thoughts of how am I going to get this money up or, you know, shit like that. And I also want to be able to put some money aside for my future children and my family and build a legacy and make sure that my kids are starting to and doing what I see and they have the option to adopt my business. So, with that shit being said, I uh, started getting on the internet and researching, like, what can I do to make some money outside of my day-to-day? -day? How can I generate my own cash flow? And I stumbled across the music. Now, I've been a rapper forever. Like, I already had that school. I've been rapping since I was a kid. Fourth grade is my first rapper. But in recent years, I could never find a way to really monetize it. It was like, rapping to me was like, uh, even though I'm good at it, it was like you had to be in a know or be very well connected to get me in the game. But as we all know, oh, shit. Hold up, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm not, not bad, y'all, I'm back. I've seen a quick friend had to definitely chat it up. But yeah, so anyway, I got into all this shit just trying to figure out how to get out of a rat race and make my own money for myself eventually and not be tied down to a fucking nine to five my whole fucking life. You know what I mean? So by doing that research, I stumbled across how to make my own money with the rap shit. So it's a thousand fan theory. I'm not even going to get all the way into it. But I just want you guys to know that ever since that point, I started putting shit together, taking the shit way more seriously with the rap career, and really trying to figure out how to engineer a successful career for myself. Now, with that being said, there's no time frame on when your dreams and your plans are gonna work out for you. So, knowing that, I just don't even think about winning at all. Like, I take every single fucking day as a new day and a new opportunity to just make some things happen. So every day when I wake up, I know I gotta go handle the day job. Bang, that's one thing that I can get out the way. And I usually feel very good about getting that out the way, even though I hate going to my day job. I love the fact that I get up, get it out the way, because I know once I get off, I can put all my attention and my time towards what I really wanna do in life. So even that's a win for me. So I'll get up, work on the day job shit bang after I'm done with the day job it's just straight to pushing the music or coming outside and making a podcast I've been starting to make podcast episodes for every day when I leave uh, when I leave my job I like to just walk on my way to the bus stop and give y'all a little bit of my daily thoughts so I'll do a podcast episode from there I might listen to a couple podcasts from one of my favorite people, like I was a smart rapper. That's a uh, Robert Level. 
Rob Level or I'll get on and listen to some Gary V or some Damon Johns and just get some more motivation for the day, some insight. And then I just tackle everything on a daily basis. I never think about the fucking long term. Like, if I thought about, like, how long it's going to take for me to get where I want to go, it would fucking drive me crazy. So, instead of that, I just know that every day is an opportunity for me to lay one to three bricks or one to ten bricks to get me to my path. If I'm constantly laying bricks down, every day I'm getting up and constantly doing things to get me closer to my goal, then I know no matter what, I'm going to get there. When I'm going to get there, that's still the X to the equation. So I can't really solve for X until I do all the other steps for the equation. And once I keep plugging away, pushing away, I know it's going to happen eventually. So that's really why I wanted to get on here. It's going to be a very short video. I want y'all know, like, whatever your goals and your dreams are, don't be so worried about the time limit or when you're going to actually reach your peak or get your successful spot or sweet spot. Just worry about tackling everything that you need to do to get there. And like, I like to put myself in fucking, I call it autopilot. If you ever watched uh, Adam Sandler's movie Click, yeah, I mean, he was like a, a very hard, ambitious working guy and he just wanted to get to his fucking success. So what he used to do, he had this remote where he could fast forward or slow things down. Yeah, I mean, like a TV remote. But he found out about this button and it was autopilot. And what it allowed him to do was basically go through however long he was on autopilot with him going through the motions, but not actually realizing or actually uh, having to deal with life. So go watch Click and you'll see it's, it's funny and he misuses it. But for me, I love putting myself on autopilot because I can get up, go to work and not think about it, get that day over with or that part of my day over with. And when I'm scratching away and, yeah, I mean, punching away at all these little goals, I am not worried about the end result. I'm just worried about the task at hand. And that allows me to get farther than it I would if I was really stressed out about how long that shit was going to take for me to get there. So, like, within these seven months, within these seven months, I've been able to make, like, great, great moves, get in contact with a lot of... Uh, a lot of influential people based upon, I think, because they see me plugging away and not giving a fuck. So they can feel my energy and my energy is kind of lining up with the people that I listen to on a day or on the same page. So my advice to you is whatever your goal is, whatever your dream is, whether it's going to take you, in, th in theory, three years, five years, or ten years, however long it's going to take, don't even fucking worry about the end result. Just worry about your day-to-day. -day. And I guarantee you, if you live your life like that, you'll be a lot happier because you won't be stressed out. You won't be thinking about, oh, this person is doubting me or my parents said this was a bad idea and it's already taken me three years. Like, no, just know that every day you're putting in your work and every single day you're getting farther. And fuck what everyone else thinks because like I stated in the last video, you're the only one that knows exactly what it's going to take to get to where you want to be personally. So, like, yeah, I mean, this is a day-by-day -day theory. Take shit day-by-day, day, lay one brick at a time, and don't worry about the time frame. Don't worry about how many years it's going to take. Don't worry about none of that shit. Just do what you have to do and have faith that your process will get you to where you want to be. Yeah, I mean, it's as simple as that. That's, that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, that's my take on it. And with me taking this approach, has allowed me to really be fucking happy and really enjoy enjoy the journey. It's also allowed me to like not belittle the little fucking goals or the little steps that happen to me. So if I'm trying to get in touch with a certain person over a month and I'm doing this, I'm tagging them and shit, I'm fucking sending them DMs and doing this, this and that, and nothing happens. But one day when that person ends up in my DM, and I know damn well I've been trying to get out of them for a month. That is a win. So fuck all the days where I didn't get any respond, any reply, nothing like that. That one fucking day where they hit me up like, oh, what's up, Ether? I've been seeing you do your thing. What's going on? That's the win. So the other 30 times or 30 attempts, that didn't matter. And it allowed me, because it didn't matter, it allowed me to continue on to make the 15 extra attempts after the the original 15 failed attempts. 
So, like, that's my advice to you. Like, at the end of the day, that's like, I'm not telling you to do nothing that I don't do. That's how I live my life. I don't worry about the end result. I get the fuck up. I press autopilot on my fucking remote. And I go outside and I do my thing. And I know every single day I'm getting closer to where I need to be. I mean, now, as far as, like, my next goal, because this music shit is nice, I'm getting a lot of good feedback. I've been uh, submitting my songs to blogs and getting good feedback and posts. But I got to make some more bread. And, like I said, the ultimate goal is definitely still for me to leave my 9-to-5 job and ultimately be able to make my own money on my own terms. Whether it be with rap, I'm a, I'm a hustler anyway. So whether I'm going to be hustling music, clothes, whatever, I'm going to find a way to sell it. So... I just started on my first week of thrifting and, yeah, I mean, really putting uh, different items up for sale on, like, platforms like LetGo and Facebook Marketplace and a couple other places. So, literally, I just started this week, and I don't want to go too far into it because I'm not that educated in it yet, but once I get into, like, my first couple sales and maybe even my first month, I'll really start giving you more content on how that's been going and try to give y'all some advice on how to go out and do that shit. Like, the, the, the stuff that I got up, I expect to make at least $120 to $200. And this is literally, I didn't even go flip anything yet. I just looked around my fucking closet for clothes I haven't worn in the past five, six years. Certain shoes I haven't worn, I never wear again. And they're still in great condition because I keep the shit in good condition. So I was able to just find that stuff around the house to start me off. And once I flip that, then I'll go out and see what I can grab up off of different websites and go out to some of these thrift stores. But, yeah, this is a uh, shout-out to Gary V. This is the uh, the 2000, I want to say it was the 2017 or 2018 Flip Challenge he started when he was on the Breakfast Club show. So I'm late to the game, but, I mean, better late than never. So I'll get back to y'all on the Flip Challenge and let y'all know how that's going. And if y'all can make some extra money to, you know, invest in your business or whatever you need it for. But at the end of the day, the main message for this is day by day, brick by brick, step by step. Don't worry about how long it's going to take to get to where you want to go. Just do your thing and know that every single day that you get up is an opportunity to fucking go a little farther than where you were the day before. All right, fam. I love y'all. Peace.